द थर्ड ब्रांच ऑफ टेलोलॉजिकल एथिक्स इज स्टेट कंसिक्वेंशलिज्म ओके सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी अंडरस्टूड दैट टेलोलॉजिकल इज अ कंसिक्वेंशलिस्ट अप्रोच दैट इज इज इट टॉक्स फाइनली अबाउट द कंसिक्वेंसेज ऑफ योर एक्शन ओके नाउ दिस थ्योरी इन द नेम इट सेल्फ इज सजेस्टिंग दैट इट इज कंसर्न विद द कंसिक्वेंसेज और द आउटकम्स फॉर द स्टेट now here what is mean by state in simple term we can relate state to be the government okay so as per this theory an action that causes better consequences to state that is better consequences to the governing body in terms of material wealth social order is more ethical very simple phenomena okay so we should take some example to clearly understand this uh let us take an example where government wants to build a road or a railway line okay and it is passing through some villages now villagers will get affected by this highway or railway because they will be required to displace from their own land but on the other hand overall state will get benefit because it is the duty of state to provide public transport and when this will happen the overall material wealth material wealth and social order will increase that's why according to this theory the state consequentialism theory this action of highway or roadway construction is ethical even though it is affecting some people okay so this this branch you must know that this branch of ethics that is state consequentialism is one of the most important reason every government gives behind its policies of any social order increasing or any policy of infrastructure increasing or banking reforms or public sector reforms and so on okay so this was the third branch of theological so finally what we have done is we have completed the theological ethics part and if we go back then there were three branches in theological the first one was the theory of utilitarianism what it was saying it was saying that that action is ethical which promotes good of greatest number of people okay the second one was ethical egoism which is saying is that you must take that action which is benefiting your own interest and the third is saying is that that is state consequentialism it is saying that the action which benefits the state in other words the governing body or the society as a whole that should be the ethical action okay so this was theological now coming back to our original table of all the ethical theories so we were discussing the normative part normative ethics and we covered virtue ethics then we covered deontological ethics and then we covered theological ethics okay now finally the last one that is applied ethics has been remained but i have already told you that i will deal with separately but we will just take one brief statement about applied ethics okay so what is applied ethics very simple it is application of ethical principles to analyze the ethicality of any thought conduct or choice so in simple term just know this word that is the application of ethical principles if you apply ethics ethics in your day to day life then it becomes applied ethics okay now we can say that engineering ethics is nothing but a part of applied ethics only so engineering ethics can be a part of applied ethics medical ethics bioethics environmental ethics all these are the examples of applied ethics so we will take that part separately we can say it is a type of uh, general application of ethics in our society so i will say normally it is a current affairs part of ethics because we need to know which are the main ethical issues presently concerning our society so what are the engineering ethical terms related to present case what are the present bioethics issues what are the present engineering ethics issues that we must know okay in fact some questions uh, like uh, 
insider trading euthanasia these are the questions which has upsc asked in our examination and these were related to applied ethics only so we will deal with it separately Thank you.